This week at the Macon Newsroom of the Murphy Center for Collaborative Journalism, Civic Fellow Laura Corley reports Wednesday is the day the State Charter Schools Commission decides whether to renew the charter for Cirrus Academy, which is completing a two-year probationary period. Cirrus recently outperformed nearby public schools and has a corrective plan to overcome deficiencies related to federal program compliance. The Design Review Board will consider a pre-built single-family tiny home in the Bells Hill Historic District. PNZ staff says the dwelling is not in keeping with the character of the neighborhood, but we'll see what the board says. The CCJ is partnering with Georgia Public Broadcasting Thursday at 6 p.m. for a free screening of the Breaking the News documentary about a group of female and LGBTQ plus journalists forging away in a male-dominated field by launching a digital news service. A panel discussion will follow at Willett Science Center Auditorium on the Mercer campus. Thursday also marks the premiere of the new CBS drama Elsbeth, featuring Macon's own Carrie Preston in her award-winning role of the unconventional attorney who debuted in a guest role in The Good Wife. We'll look back at how Carrie got her start at Central High School in Macon's community theaters. And it's time to get your questions in for this month's Ask Mayor Miller program, which tapes Tuesday morning. It's an off week for the Macon Bibb County Commission, but if you'd like to know more about what's going on, email your questions to mercerccj at gmail.com and we'll bring you answers by week's end. I'm Civic Journalism Senior Fellow Liz Fabian. As always, you can learn more about these stories at our website, macon-newsroom.com.